is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 23 of Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. I do have somewhat of a plan, people. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part, kind of. <laughs> As you'll see, those astute of you will see that I have 20,000 plus souls down at the bottom there. All I did was I went to my favourite grinding spot and uh, dug out, I've well, just killed some enemies really, just ran around killing the same folks over and over again to just clock up. I, what I wanted to do was level up the new sword, uh, well, I wanted to level up my int a couple of times to see what impact it had on the sword. Oh, well, and the staff for that for that matter I suppose. Uh, while we're on with it, uh, I will just give a prop shout out to a, well, one person in particular, because I did mention in a previous video that someone had mentioned it, and I think I couldn't quite remember who it was. So, uh, a thank you to a few people, actually, just for regular help. Uh, so, we've got Buckhead2015, Jason King, that man Jason King, always giving us good advice, and Kastrolok Nagal, or Nagel. <laughs> I will pronounce that one day in the end. Uh, I think I might have shouted you out all before, but I will continue to shout out people that are helping me. And if I forget to shout out your name, I hopefully I'll remember in a future episode. But there's been so many comments coming back, which has been absolutely superb, people. It is quite hard for me to sort of grab everybody's names as I, as I start to record, but I try my best, people. But thank you to everyone who's been giving me feedback and tips and advice and all that kind of good stuff. Right, now, Jason has been telling me on a number of occasions to do a lot of exploration from waypoint ruins and sort of the whole southern section from there down just all around the area because there's a lot of stuff that we might pick up that's going to be helpful to our type of character perhaps so i think we're going to do that as part of today's journey rather than go straight back to the castle now firstly though i want to do two things i want to level us up twice by for in the int department and I also want to try changing the... There was an option to change the outfit to a different look. Uh, so I'm just going to look at that again because we've never tried it. Okay, so we've got the level up first. And then we'll do the altar garments. The, the altar garments cost money. So, uh, well, <laughs> runes, people. Runes. Uh, but we'll level up first and make sure we've got enough left. I think the level ups will take maybe be about 19,000 or so, maybe. So we're going to go from 23. No, actually, it's only... Well, actually, I think the to upgrade the... Well, to change what we're wearing, I think it was 500, so we'd have, we'll have enough left. So it's, it's, it's costing us nearly 10,000 a level up now. So, I did make a note as it happens, or, well, I say note, I took two pictures of what my... It's a bit odd, because you can't see your weapon damage here. So, when you go up like that, I haven't found a way of seeing, you know, what our sword damage is going to be doing now that we've put extra into our int and that sort of thing. So, I took photographs just to see and compare... Uh, so we'll try and look at those and I'll try and tell you what the differences are. So here we go. So we're going to put two more points. The last point we put in was here. I suspect that I may get, I may fall short at some point if I don't put more into Vigor. We did put a point in Vigor last time. I'm going to get two ints in because I want this damage up. And also, I mean, bear in mind, we've got a staff. that need to be int 52 to use. <laughs> Whether it's worth using, I've got no idea. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, but this is an S scanning staff that we've got, so it's pretty uber anyway. So, two points in, but this is going to give us... Well, in fact, it's increasing a point on the right arm and one and two. Staff and sword, now that we've got a magical sword. So, that seems to be happening each time now as well. That pretty sure that wasn't happening with the other sword because it wasn't magic-based or int-based. And we're also getting a magic defense power up to 31, so it's a point each one as well. And we're going up to level 41, people. Right, here we go. Int. 25. Boom. Right, what does that do for our... Well, should I tell you what, we'll have a look at that first before we do our garments. No, Steve. So if we now go into... Mm, uh, yeah, inventory is probably the best place to look at it, I think. Right, so we're now getting... 94 plus 15 on physical and 112 plus 36 on magic 
I am hmm, convinced there's that changed. Okay, so that was the... Oh, that's the staff. Hang on. Give me a sec. Just looking at the pictures. Also staff. Ah, right. Okay. So it's only putting... Yeah, it's only putting two extra points of damage on. So it's putting a point of damage on each time. So it's not actually... It's not actually Ubering up as much as I thought it would. So literally, one int level up adds one to the magic. <clears throat> from what I can tell there. Because before we leveled up, I took a picture and it was a, a 94 plus 15 and 112 plus 30, 34. So those two level ups have put two extra points on our magic. I can't see that it's done anything else differently. Or changed anything else, so... I guess we'll see. There's maybe more to it than I'm thinking, but that seems to be the difference it's made, which isn't quite as uber as I thought it was going to be. So it is actually a point for a point, effectively. Uh, however, uh, we can still level the sword up. The, the main boost of power that we got seemed to be from leveling it up with the stones, and we need a uh, somber smithing stone 3 is what we need now to get the sword to its next level. Uh, as far as the staff goes, uh, 39 and 21. Uh, um, yeah, sorcery scaling 156. That's interesting because I think... Let me look at the pictures again. So the staff was... Uh, okay, that's interesting. The picture I've taken doesn't actually show me the... Uh... Oh, yes, it does. Ah! Well, that's interesting. So, my sorcery scaling has gone from 150 to 156. So, that's gone up another 6 with those two level ups. So, they went up 3 apiece. And that's most likely because of the int S scaling, I think. Bear in mind that the scaling on the sword is only C. So, it might be why it's lesser... So, what was the... Yeah, 39 and 19, yeah. So, the, the physical has gone up by 2, but the sorcery scaling has gone up by 6. So, that's going to be interesting to see what the... What that wand feels like now. Wand. <laughs> Staff, Stephen. Right, there you go. Okay, that's that. That's that uh, well, hopefully that's helping other people out and understanding what this is doing when we do it. So, the sorcery scaling has ubered up. And the sword's getting a little bit of extra oomph every time we put a point in an int. Uh, <clears throat> right, let's go back into... Alter Garments. <clears throat> yeah, because we had... Yeah, alter Astrology Robe altered down at the bottom there. Which means I think we'll lose the hood as opposed to... It's just to try it, to see what it's like. I don't think anything changes... Oh, hang on, maybe it does. Oh, it does, it goes down. 5-3, Well, that's weird. Why would you do that? Everything is lesser on the one below. So, well, it's lighter is the only difference. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that then. Scratch that idea. Also, one last thing before we head out for an adventure. Is that... Oh, in fact, I don't know why I do that. I keep go, go, go to my chest and I keep going to the blacksmith. I think I'm thinking of... Uh, Demon series. I just wanted to... Re I couldn't remember what I had in the way of armor in my... Chest... Uh, again, Jason was saying there is a bit of an argument that says put some proper armour on, even as a mage in certain areas, it can be helpful. But as it happens, I don't think I've picked up a decent set of armour, so we've picked up the Perfumist Travelling Gerb, which is, well it is heavy, oh hello, what did I do there? I'll put that in the thing. Well, they're both 5.1 in weight as it happens. 
And that's 6.3. All right, no, they're actually lighter. All right, okay. Foot soldiers gauntlets, exile gauntlets. Exile greaves. Goldrick soldier greaves. I so I'm trying to keep one of each thing. Have they banished Knight's Greaves in there already? Nope. Okay. Let's lighten the load a little bit. That can get sold. Don't need to carry all those shields though, do we? Yeah, actually the shields scale as well, don't they? wonder if there's an int scaling shield. I don't seem to have found one if there is. Not yet, anyway. So, let's get those in the... That was the most recent one we found, that uh, Beast, Beast Crest Heater Shield. But everything about it seemed to be worse than what I was wearing. Bar one extra magic, which is neither here nor there, really. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're different skills on some of them, but I think they're both parry, the one I've got on and that one. Okie doke. Right, let's get out there and let's uh, see what we can find people, shall we? Uh, we will just sell that. I'm going the wrong way again. And that's the wrong way. <laughs> one way I'm going to. One day I'm going to remember what the right way is. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arms, then. Yeah, it's a fair point, actually. I'm not carrying all those swords around with me, am I? I think I might be, you know. I'm not sure if carrying all that stuff affects your poise or not. I think you have to have it equipped to affect your poise. Yeah, I am as well. Right, well, that can all get stored, can't it? Well, I didn't necessarily need both short swords. Uh, I don't know whether I keep these. A little different, though. Pretty sure that was a swordstress sword, I think. But I don't know though, because I, th I thought it was a dex. I don't know what happened to that sword. Highly confused as to what I did with it. I think it must be that one, because it's curved. And we might as well store that for now, and store that for now, store that for now. I don't think they're doing much harm where they are, are they really? I'm not actually carrying anything that will fire them, but <laughs> at least I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Okie dokie. Right, here we go. 
So, we're going to head off to Waypoint Ruins. Yet again. If I can remember where it is. Oh, there it is. Waypoint Ruins Cellar. Off we go. Right, we're not going to talk to you. I'm just going to get straight out there. And I did put a... Yeah, I've put a marker on the map. Uh, a beacon. Which is the direction of south, effectively. We're just going to head that... It's at the very base of the south point. So it's just to keep me on track a bit easier. I suppose I could have just headed south, to be fair. You know, there's a big part of me that wants to just take these guys out. I bet there's something really shiny on the back of that. Yeah, there is. There's a big chest on the back of that thing. Nothing to lose, have we? Oh, hang on. There's another set of them up there. I have got my multiple enemies move. I'm not sure how much damage it will do at this uh, juncture. Oh, yeah, fuck up. Oh, he's got me. Fuck. Fuck off. Oh, you fucker. Fuck. Oh, I don't believe it. Fuck's sake. Fucking flash didn't fill up again when I hit the square button. It wasn't actually that hard either. Uh, I don't know where the stake, stake of thingamajibber is, actually. I don't think about it. Well, that's not a good start to the part, is it? Where the fuck are we? Oh, there they are. Right, okay. Well, it's a little bit frustrating because I feel like I've got to wait for them to go to a certain... It's actually just easier when they're down at that lower point. I feel like you can maybe do it without disturbing the two big guys as well. Right on me tits, you, mate. We really, you really are. Oh, your horse is still alive. I'm assuming that can't attack me. Can I ride the horse? Don't think I can, can I? Oh, fucking hell. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought he was going to attack me there. Fucking hell, really? Wasted far too much magic there. Oh, 
What? <laughs> There's not even anything on it. I thought I was going to get something from that there. Come on, it's got to be carrying something, isn't it? Is it at the front then? Maybe. Brass shield. Well, does seem to be something over there. Might just be an animal. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the point of this is then. There's another knight coming down the way. Well, this was not part of the uh, thing I was trying to do, but... Unless you don't get anything off it until you kill the two big guys, but... Alright, well, maybe someone can tell me if there's a point to that. Right, where are we on the map? Right, we want to go south, really. Well, in fact, he didn't say just go south. <laughs> to be fair, he did say any, all the area around Waypoint. Interestingly, yeah, that's the bridge that is above where the dragon is. There's something else I want to do as well. I want to kill that sodding dragon. Let's have a good look around, people. Somebody up there, look. With a telescope or something. Yeah, because the dragon, sure, the dragon's down that way. Hey, or maybe not. Might have got myself confused there. Some ruins over there. Come back to you, my friend, in a second. Well, there's a pickup up the top there. Oh, this is where the plant is. I've done a full circle. That's a bit annoying. How the feck do you get up there? It can't be the horse, surely, a Christ. Right, hang on. Before we do that, I'll come back for that pickup in a minute. If we can manage it. All oh, right, these are enemies, I think. For God's sake, stop giving me bolts. Gold pickled foul foot. Well, it was just what I was looking for, to be fair. Not. Yeah, the weather's cleared up nicely. Look at that. See, look, that's really some nice smooth panning around that section there. But then all of a sudden you'll go to pan it again and it'll get sticky. But at the moment it's being quite nice. Big cave over there. Well, that the castle entrance over there, or a castle entrance over there. But I'm almost positive that that... Yeah, that's the Burnt Ruins, yeah. So that bridge that we're looking at, that those big things are going over, there was a tele... I'm sure there was a... Or a feel like there was. 
that yeah that's the bridge where the skeletons were dangling down it must be underneath I'm still not overly sure how I'll get that pickup. I must have to drop down from the top of those ruins, I think. I think I'm going to have to take this badger out, surely. Yeah, I mean, the only, only way we're getting to there... Well, we might have been able to... It's got to be a bit nimble with the horse there, though, don't you? Must have to drop on it, surely. <laughs> Nearly. Wow, check that out. Trina's Lily. Does she know she's missing it? Wow. Rune fragments galore up here. Yeah, there's the dragon over there, look. I'm a little bit curious about this bridge, so I'm going to go and take a look. Mind you, that said, I'm not overly blessed with my magics and stuff, am I? That was too far away. Fucking hell, what's going on with aiming on this horse? Fucking nonsense. Why can't I shoot magic behind me? What's going on there? Or was it because I was locked onto the horse and not locked onto him, maybe? Crocker shite people, settled out. Yeah, so there's where the skeletons fall down. Well, that's where the things were hanging and the skeletons come out the floor. Dragons down there.
Oh, hello. Just spotted a little something there that I want. Just over there. I think that's one of those uh, teardrop ones, isn't it? Ash of War, Determination. Nice. Come on, let's dance you and I. Come on. Backstabbing's not quite on track today, but anyway. <whistles> yeah, there's the dragon over there. I mean, not overly sure at all if I've visited some of these places already, to be honest. I'm, well, I've definitely been to Mertwater Cave, uh, but I don't look like we've been to any of these buildings up here. Might have been, you know. Might just not be remembering. I'm not sure if these fragments... Oh, wait a minute. That looks a bit familiar. Uh, no, maybe the settlements just all look familiar. Oh, fucking hell, dogs. It's a party down there. More wolves over there. Hmm. I wonder if you can jump onto that. There's a sight of grace down here. It's definitely not one we've got. Well, let's just have a rest then, shall we? Well, there's a horse jumping point over there. You can see the... See the wind shining up from it. Yeah, down there. Look. So what the blood? Uh, I feel. I feel like this. <laughs> there's bones of shit down there. I feel like I'm going to get a fight if I go down there, which is fair enough. There's bears over that way. Oh, there's a cave. Is that a cave? I think we've got a wee cave to explore here, people. Ah, uh, there's something doing there, look. Oh, 
Yeah, here they come. Scallywags. Seriously, can hit everything really far away, but not anything right next to me. What's happening? Fuck, I'm gonna die yet. Come on now. Fucking hellfire. Right, that's the group kill because got me shiz back. Poison Blossom. Not really sure about those little things, you know, that are on the... Keep sneaking up after you. There is a cave around here, though. I think. Is there somebody in there? Is it a bad one or a good one? Doesn't seem to be... Yeah, I think it's a good guy. Well, a summon, maybe. Just joining the fray. Tarnished. Well, we fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm Yura. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. You're certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. One last word of warning. Stay clear of Agil Lake. The great dragon roosts there. No shit. As it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay. Well, he may well be a character you can summon before a boss. Yeah, that's the bridge where the skeletons hang down over there, and this was further up. I wonder why I never came this far up then. A bit strange. Quick way up with the horse, though, which is good. Now, this might not be a cave. It might just be another way through. Holy fuck. Seems to be a lot of these things crawling about. Not overly sure how easy they are to kill. Hmm. Oh, the fucking my nemesis, the dragonfly, is back. Ooh, the light went all funny in here. Right, dude, seriously. What the fuck? I 
Well, there is something over here. What's the betting it's going to be locked, people, eh? Oh, no. Blimey. What lurks in this place? Murkwater catacombs. Oh, blimey. Jesus Christ. Well, I say, that's exciting. I think we'll probably... Re uh, I don't know if there's much point in resting, actually. I've got all my healths, and I've got all my magics. Mind you, I don't suppose it makes much of a muchness, does it? Because... Uh, all that's going to happen is the skeletons will come back, so it's not the end of the world, is it? What lurks in this place, eh? Oh, fucking hell. He looks poisony. They're dropping from the ceiling. Yeah, I feel like this is a poisony type place. It's a bleeding y type place, in fact. What the fuck? Is that a live one? Yeah, it bloody is as well. They look like statues, don't they? Seriously, no need for the sound effects in this place. Scaring the shit out of me. Well, something lurks up in that there place. Ow, 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 ow. You little fucker. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Let's just take a minute to relax. <laughs> uh, yeah. On their own, they're okay, but, you know, you get a few of them at once. It's like, holy shit. So, uh, we'll use the, yeah, we could use the little heel. Save as a flask for now. Mind you, I suppose there's a bit of an argument that says use the flasks first. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, I missed that actually the last time. Because he was firing at me as well. I didn't realise it was a trap. It's a trap. Well, i am not come all this way to not pull the giant lever, have I? Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Well, must have done some sort of good. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> I don't believe I just did that. What a muppet. What an absolute muppet. Where the hell did I get souls from? 
Oh, well, never mind. Right. Onward. The problem... Oh, hello. I've got two more of them down there. Look. Oh, there's another trap in front of you, Steve. Do not activate the trap. What the hell? I've got... <laughs> I've got two arrows stuck in me. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Enough out of you, you badger. Got the wrong spell on as it happens. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. What the shit? Uh, must have fucking just tiptoed on that thing. God damn it. <laughs> fucking three fucking flaming arrows sticking out my ass. My elbow. Look. Fuck. That must be the door that opened, I would think. Well, that's a boss fight, innit? Without any shadow of a doubt. So, is it doable? Uh, we can, but try, I suppose. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, you fucker. I can't believe that. Totally fucking add him as well. <sighs> oh, totally add his fucking number. So annoying. Yeah, it's one of those that sort of taps you for a few, uh... Hang on a minute. Yeah, there's, there's a, it's a little raptor thing, isn't it? There's one next to me on the left. Well, that was seriously uncalled for, Steve. You needed your basic move, not the fucking uber one. Unbelievable. Well, that was annoying. Yeah, fucking felt there was another one down here. Could just sprint for the door right enough. Could probably get it handed to you though.
Right, here we go again. No, Steve. <clears throat> He did. Ooh, battle hammer. Holy shit. I bet that's not for me. Ooh, fucking hell, fiery. We're a bit of work. God, your heart's pumping in those fights. Irrelevant, isn't it? It's just like, ooh. That Uber move did it again, though. Well, there's nothing else to find in here, is there? So I might as well return to the entrance, to be fair. Have a quick look around the room, make sure there's nothing crazy I'm missing. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? What? Look at all the fucking bodies, look. Just all smelted into here. All right, I think it's safe to go out. Right, well, Milkwater Catacombs is done by the looks of it. Ah, show underground. Something I might have missed before. Doesn't seem to show an awful lot though, does it? Let's have a quick look at that uh, weapon that we picked up. Now that's also interesting actually. Teleporting doesn't actually fill up all your bits. So it might be worth a rest as it happens. Yeah, you need massive strength for that. 26 strength. 131 physical plus 52. Oh, minus 50. Well, minus 52 because of my scaling, because it's so awful. Beast of a hammer, though. Right, well, there you are, folks. I think we are most definitely at the hour mark. Well, actually, we're at 55 minutes, so it's not, uh, not quite the hour yet, is it? I don't know that we need to run our way out of here because all the skeletons will be well not here but at the next part won't they yeah we've got the jump point over there Oh, fucking hell. The bears mess with us if we don't mess with them. Oh, where your fucking ears at? Fuck. Jesus Christ. So take it easy there, big fella. I'm only having a look around.
Hey. Well, we've gone completely opposite direction than I was going to go in. So I'll have to go in that op that direction for the next part. Seriously, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Hit a dragonfly and a horse should be a fucking trophy for it. I mean, I feel like, because there's loads of bears around, this must be near where I found the Siofra, Siofra River and all that malarkey. I feel like, because of all the bears... Just want to have a little look around, guys. You just stay there. Oh, hello. Look at that sword when we're riding. Nice. Thirteenth warrior, isn't it? Thirteenth <laughs> warrior, little brother. Well, there'll be something down there that we may or may not have been to before. That's Mistwood outskirts. Well, we can have a look down there. I've... Could be part of what I want to explore anyway. There's a little villagey type thing up there. Going a bit off point, but... Well, it's heading south again, I suppose, so it's going in the right sort of direction for us. Oh, that took health off. What the shit? It was this I was actually curious about more than anything. I thought it was a cave, but it's just an underpass. Uh... Why do they look fucking massive, those flying things? Okay, now it got a fair reach, that, didn't it? Those dragonflies started this war. It wasn't me. Yeah, well, that's going north again. It's this way we want to go, really, isn't it? I feel like I need some sort of grid search routine, because no way I'm not going to miss anything. There's something there. Yeah, that's the Offer River well. Yeah, it was pretty close to where we were. Not gone all the way down there yet either. Th all right, Third Church of Baraka. We've been up there. Gets a bit crazy as hell over that other side though at the minute. Yeah, so we could try going through the old uh, woods, couldn't we? 
see what's over there. Holy fucking shite. See the size of that fucking thing. The shit is that. Oh fuck. Steady there big fella. He's fucking fucking faster than I am. Fuck. Oh, that's nasty. Fucking hell. Well, I felt like it was going to be a bear that got me <laughs> one way or the other. He was a fucking massive fecker, wasn't he? I was doing damage to him right enough, but... Uh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, I'm, it's those sort of enemies that wind me up, because it's like, how the fuck am I meant to... Uh, Speed-wise, it's like, how the fuck are you meant to take care of that? Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, what is this even? Gold-tinged excrement. Pardon? What the shit? Picking up shit now. Quite literally. Artist Shack. Well, I feel like that might take us to another world. I guess the question... Oh, yeah, but we have to go way down, don't we, to get our souls. It's a bit frustrating, that, because it was... Uh, we're teetering on a level up. Well, we can come straight back here now, can't we? So, homing instinct painting. The fuck does that do? Well, I feel like that's something that's going to activate at the campfire, maybe, or whatever it's called, Sight of Grace. Or maybe not. What the bloody hell was that? Ah. Reminiscent of the painting Homing Instinct Examine. Work of a wandering artist. Reminiscent of a painting titled Homing Instinct. This painter is said to said have capped what this painter is said to have should have be a two in there to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of the welcomed uh, of those welcomed into death's embrace the soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now all right it's just telling you to go there
Well, I'm going to see. I'm just going to see if I can get my souls back. And if not, never mind. Somewhere in the forest. The thing is, I don't think that bear stops fucking chasing you, does it, at all? Well, I can see my souls. It's whether or not the big bear's about. That'll do. Hangs about. There's another bloody sight of grace here. The shit. Oh. <laughs> I must have had this one already. Miss without skirts, yeah I did. I'm not sure if that bear is better fought by foot. He was that fast. It might be better just rolling under him. Need to keep an eye out for him. It's possible he's uh, guarding something right enough. Is that one of those trees that gives you a tear? I think it is, you know. No, maybe not. The hell did that do? Oh. Some sort of ghostly figure. Yeah, that big fecker's over there. I can see him. And he's got a little buddy with him just here. So I think that that ghost is probably leading you to something which we might try another time. <laughs> Some ruins up here though. Oh, is this Siofra? Yeah. That's the Offra River Well. We've been here before. This is where we got teleported to. This is where we got teleported to when we opened the chest with that guy at the beginning. Yeah, minor red tree. We've already discovered that as well. There is something... Yeah, seems to be something if I follow this this line of cliff here. Or maybe not. I was wanting to go straight down. We need to go. We need to go down here. Not overly sure how far I can. Or does it not matter as long as I double jump? That's just a message somebody's left.
I'm not sure what open for business meant. Oh, fucking hell. Well, that was a waste of my bigger move, wasn't it? A rainbow stone. Yeah, I'm not overly sure what the message open for business meant. Well, we have gone well and truly over the hour mark now, blimey. That's what exploration does for you. Yeah, that's the, the route I was thinking. Oh, let's just see what's at the bottom of this road before we attempt to wrap things up. Pretty sure that's a sight of grace over there. Ooh, there's a beach. Well, Balime, eh? Found another one. Fort Height West. Well, I think it's probably an ideal place to wrap it up as it happens. Well, actually, there's our marker over there that we were heading for for south. South Waypoint Ruins, or whatever it was I was trying to do. South of Waypoint Ruins. But there was a little beachy section down there. There might be something to... That big guy might be worth killing for something. Might be something to look at down there. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, we want to get over to here. Before we go anywhere else. So we shall give that a go in the next part, people. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It was a bit of adventuring, really, wasn't it? going around the world and seeing what's out there people we've still got so much to do i mean we've got the castle to go back to we've got the show for a well to go back to we've got the big area right at the beginning through the the big gates that we got to when we ran past all of that we found a big area up there that i didn't go into which i should have done because i would have discovered it and i could have gone teleported back to it but it's easy enough to get back to uh all sorts i mean we've not even properly investigated all of the opening sections so we're really just going around the land and seeing what's out there people there's bosses around every corner effectively you just need to find the little caves they're in and go for it well there you are folks thoroughly enjoyed that it has been an honor and a privilege serving for you once again in elden ring on the playstation 5 and i'll catch you in the next one folks take it easy bye